Let's talk about drones, big ones, medium ones, little ones. Today we're gonna to talk about each of them and figure out which one might be the best fit for you coming up. Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today. My name's Timothy and on this channel, I focus on tech tools and tutorials to help you create the best content you can for your YouTube channels and your productions. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and sticking around. And before we get into today's video, I just wanted to remind you as always, you can check the show notes and links in the description below to find all the products that I'm gonna be talking about today, uh, as well as the best prices available as we approach this holiday season. I do wanna let you know, all the drones I'm talking about today are from DJI. Those are the ones that I use. I'm not paid or endorsed by them at all. I have bought all of these with my own money. I just have found through various different types and brands that these work the best for me. Um, I have the least amount of trouble with them and they create the best results in my opinion. So let's get into which one of these might be best for you. Starting us off today, we have the DJI Spark. This is a brand new drone from DJI. I haven't actually done any coverage on the channel about this drone but I have had it since launch day I just haven't had time to get around to making content for it it is an awesome drone and the thing about this that is so special is the size right so um, this is you know really really small um, the only thing that you might think happens is these uh, props would fold in they don't actually fold in like they do on the Mavic Pro but still um, taking the props off are very easy um, and the arms don't fold in like I said but with the props removed you can still still stick this in a backpack um, or in a bag or anywhere just really simply um, it has some really neat features uh, actually a decent battery life from this little guy right here averaging uh, somewhere around 15 minutes of flying time um, give or take depending on your circumstances but it does have some really neat tech this whole bar right here on top has sensors in it so it can not only uh, fly and not run into things, which is great, but it can also do some really neat things with hand gestures. If you are a Star Wars fan like me, this is a really cool thing because it does sort of feel like you're in a little Star Wars movie uh, using the force to try to control this thing. Super geeky, I know, but also very cool. Um, you can use this in a mode or a situation where you might not have a controller with you and you can control the drone just by hand motions. Um, it's really neat and it does actually work a lot better than I thought it would. Also, this guy has a great camera. Now, a lot of people think that a small package means you have to give up quality on the camera. This guy is actually a full HD 1080 camera. You're not getting 4K out of this guy, but the 1080 codec is actually really good. You're still getting great colors. Um, it is on a two axis gimbal here, so footage is actually very solid, very smooth, um, and that's a great thing. It has uh, just a really nice color um, profile built in. I do think it's a little oversaturated, but I'm hoping DJI releases a firmware update that allows us to try to tweak the color profiles a little bit and maybe dial back some of the saturation. So if you're looking for your very first drone to buy, something to just get you into this hobby, this is a great place to start. You can buy this with the Fly More combo and it does come with its own controller. It's just like the Mavic Pro controller except it doesn't have a screen. So it does give you some extra control. Um, I do recommend that very, very much if you are gonna go with this drone. Um, that's a great feature to have. If you don't pick up the Fly More combo, you can still control it with uh, your cell phone, just you don't get the tactile, joysticks and stuff but it does come fully functional just like that so I do recommend this guy it comes in several different colors which is kind of fun um, but I do think this is a great fit for first-time drone owners folks that just kind of want to mess around with it maybe you've got um, a kid at home that wants to try out the drone stuff this is a great way to get them started um, but also if you're a vlogger fantastic set of kit to add um, right into your gear list that will allow you to be able to grab some different points of view, some aerials. It has all of the built-in tracking features so it can go up in the air and follow you automatically getting awesome shots of whatever you're up to. It could add a lot of variety to your footage and just kind of up the quality of your vlogs. So again, I would check this guy out. Uh, I highly recommend it. This is the DJI Spark. 
Coming up next on the list in size and price is actually the DJI Mavic Pro. This guy right here is my most used drone. You can check out tons of content on the channel here that I've that I've done with this guy, just teaching you all about it and how to use it. One of the things that really separates this from the Spark is the camera. Um, that is a 4K capable camera, and I do record in full 4K resolution um, pretty much 98% of the time so that I do have an option to crop in and post if I want image quality uh, it's really good the sensor obviously larger on this camera than the one in the spark um, but it's also still very portable right so with this Mavic Pro it was the first drone that we saw on the market that could do that this was announced just last year it was the first drone that we ever had seen that could fold up to be so small and compact again um, I don't know that you can really visualize how small this is um, next to the Spark, it is, uh, you know, a little bit bigger, but you're getting a lot more performance from this guy. Um, but also, like I said, at a higher price point, let me just compare it to my iPhone 7 Plus. That gives you a little bit of an idea as, uh, as to what the size is. So with the larger form factor and the slight bump in price, you do get a whole lot for this package. If you are looking at bumping up the quality of your content, this is the way to do it. Like I said, you get the 4K camera that is on this gimbal, silky smooth footage. Um, you do have the larger uh, motors here on the Mavic Pro than the, than the Spark. And so with that becomes uh, more availability for flying in a little harsher conditions, right? So with this, you can fly in higher winds. Um, you can also go a lot further because this pairs with a controller um, that also syncs up to your phone and it allows you to fly this um, for several miles away from you. Although you should always make sure and follow those FAA guidelines, keeping line of sight with your drones and all that good stuff. Lots of tech built into this guy as well. The batteries, I would definitely recommend getting the Fly More combo. Um, you're getting about 20 seven minutes out of a battery. I average around 25 minutes, which is still really, really great, but I would recommend getting the fly more so you can grab a few more minutes of battery life. That way you get another battery. You can be charging one while the other one is being used. Super great. Lots of different sensors on this, guys. You've got two front sensors, again, allowing you to track moving targets, but also see uh, if there's something in front of you so that it won't crash while going forward. You have downward facing sensors as well, which allow you to not run into something as you're coming down. Also allows for um, just a safer means of flight in, in landing. Um, if your battery gets low or you lose signal, this guy will actually fly back to where it took off from and land its Itself, so that's really great tons of tech and options in this the still photography on this is very very good um, You do get that image stabilization built in so you get a camera that is going to perform really great overall I really think that this is a fantastic fantastic drone. I highly recommend it. Um, it comes in at just under a grand for just the drone itself and you can even find them this holiday season for less than 900. Again links in the description below will take you to the places that give you the best prices on this. Um, but you can get the fly more combo usually around 1200 bucks. Get those extra batteries, a dual battery charger um, and just overall a lot better experience I think to have more fun and more airtime with this guy. So so super awesome drone here guys. I do really recommend this one. This is the Mavic Pro. You can also get the Mavic Pro Platinum. Um, I will say the only difference, unless you really like that color um, that the Mavic Pro Platinum is, the only difference that you're going to get is just a couple minutes more on the battery life and uh, some props that are low, more low noise basically, but you can also get those props and put them on this one. And that's a good way to save a few bucks and just stick with the original model. All right, last but certainly not least is the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. This bad boy right here is the top of the line for consumer drones. Now, you can go one more tier up in the DJI drones, and that's with the Inspire 2 series. That is for um, just outrageously awesome footage. If you're doing like cinematics, if you're doing movies, those kind of things, it's several thousand dollars just for the drone. Then you got to add on the cameras and stuff. So I'm not covering that one because I haven't personally used it. And for most of us, I feel like that might be just a little bit of overkill. But this guy right here, guys, 
Wow, this thing is absolutely incredible. I use it more and more every single week. Um, the nice thing about this is the camera quality. Let's just take a look at it. This thing is a beast, okay? The camera sensor on this is huge. You get aperture control on it, um, which allows you to get a little bit of depth of field when you're getting uh, you know, closer shots to folks. So that's really cool, but the sensor size on it gives its imaging processing abilities just um, a huge leap forward from the other drones that I've talked about. Now the compromise here is the size, right? So this does not collapse at all. This is what you get. Um, there is no way to get it smaller than this except for to take off the props. Um, so again, in comparison to the Spark, um, a huge, huge difference, right? Um, but the whole thing is the quality that you're getting with this drone. Now it does come in white and they announced a new obsidian color, which looks absolutely sick. I wish that I could get that colorway in, um, but it's just not justifiable to um, buy a whole new drone just for a change of color. But if you do go with a Phantom 4 Pro, that obsidian looks pretty sweet. So what separates this guy from the rest of the pack? Let me just start by saying the motors on this, extremely powerful in ways that um, you can go a lot further. You can get into a lot stronger winds. Even the Mavic Pro I've put up before, had to put it back down and get this guy out and have had no problems. So the motors much more um, you know, durable here and more powerful. But one of the things that really set it apart outside of the camera are the amount of sensors that this has, right? So let's just take a look around it. We have sensors here, 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 and here. So that is exactly sensors on every corner and downward facing, meaning that the obstacle avoidance for this drone is top of the line. Um, you have to try really hard to try to crash this thing, okay? If all of these obstacle avoidance sensors are working properly, um, then if it drifts to the right or left and there is a subject or an object there, it stops, it lets you know, it won't run into it. Uh, forward, backwards, it's not gonna go down into something. If you want a drone that is gonna give you amazing quality and easily controllable even more than the other ones that i've talked about this is the one okay you get a larger controller with it so the joysticks i feel a little bit easier to use than the other models but overall usability of this drone um, getting into tighter spaces just flying with more confidence right you invest a lot of money into these drones and just the edge of of being able to push it a little bit further and know that you're not going to risk crashing it that's huge for me and i have went to this drone for that reason several several times but the big deciding factor here for me, and I think anyone that's considering getting into this league of drone is the camera on this. So I do have an indie filter on here. That's why it looks so dark. And I'll put a link somewhere up here for you to check out a video I made about indie filters and how important they are to get your, your images to look really, really good. Um, these are from Polar Pro. I, I love that company. You should check them out. Um, I'll have links in the description below for them. But the camera here, guys, three axes of stabilization, so really smooth. If you are doing real estate photography, if you're doing aerial photography, anything that requires stills, this is the way to go. You can get such amazing quality from this camera sensor in still photography. So with the camera, you're getting that one inch 20 megapixel sensor. That thing is absolutely amazing. And the ability to record 4K at 60 frames per second. That is absurd and awesome, right? So you can get incredibly smooth shots, 4K, 60P. Um, the other ones that I showed you, the Mavic Pro, it actually tops out at 4K, 30P, so you're not able to get that full 60P, which is great if you're tracking moving subjects, um, just in general, right, your drone's moving, so if you want the images to be clear, faster shutters and faster frame rates is a way to do that. Um, but just in general, 4K, 60 from a drone like this, it's absolutely amazing. And so I highly recommend this guy for the, the folks that are into the hobby but want higher quality imaging, right? So if you wanna up the quality of your content, your aerial footage, your vlogs, this is the guy to do it. If you are considering using drones for a professional reason, be it um, you know scouting or or you know doing surveys stuff, site surveys, if you're thinking about doing real estate, um, any of those options, 
you really should pick this one. The quality on this blows the other ones away, and I didn't really think that. Um, I thought the Mavic Pro was awesome, and it is, and I still use that one the most because it's so compact and I can just throw it in my backpack. And for personal use, I do use that one the most. But for client work, for um, anything that I, I want that higher image or the higher um, you know, dynamic range, I'm going to this every single time. Um, you can also use it because it's stabilized. You can just hold on like this and continue filming. And so that gives you a lot of options just to keep recording even without taking off. Say if you're doing real estate, photography, videography, walkthroughs, you can do that walking through a house just like this and use the gimbal. Um, you can fly in really tight spaces, like I said, with the sensors. Um, this guy is the whole package and I highly recommend you guys check this one out. This one does have a little higher price tag. It comes in at $1,500. Um, and so basically we've got three tiers. We've got the Spark at 500. We've got the Mavic at around 1,000, sometimes less than 900 this holiday season, and the Phantom 4 Pro at 1,500. They do also have the Phantom 4, um, but for me, I think the better bang for your buck is to go ahead and get the Pro that unlocks the 4K60 for you uh, and some other really nice features. Battery life on this guy is outstanding um, you get about 30 minutes of flight time with one of these i've even stretched it to more um, depending on how you know aggressively i fly and such and the conditions but the battery life on this guy definitely wins so i hope that this video has been helpful just to maybe give you guys some ideas if you're trying to pick one out to buy for someone else this holiday season you really can't go wrong with any of them and i hope that giving you just a quick glimpse into each one of them and their strengths um help maybe help Helps you make the right decisions. Don't forget to use the links in the description below to check these out. I'm linking in a special way that actually uh, just sends you to the places that have the best prices, either Amazon or BH Photo or DJI.com. If you use those links below, it's going to take you to the one that is going to be the best price over the holidays um, and in the coming times. And they are affiliate links, so they don't cost you any extra, but they do um, allow me to get a few cents on every dollar that you spend, which supports the channel and helps us continue make content right here so guys i hope it's been helpful let me know in the comments below which drone that you have which one that maybe you want to upgrade to or what you're thinking about picking up in this holiday season guys tomorrow's thanksgiving have a great time with your family enjoy being with each other be kind to one another guys i hope you have a fantastic day i'll see you in the next video